she was a successful television actress for years but the Duchess of Sussex admitted to occasionally feeling camera shy. Meghan made the confession today when she and Prince Harry began the third day of an official visit to Morocco with a visit to the country's Royal Federation of Equestrian Sports in the capital Rabat. The couple were there to learn more about the country's developing program of equine therapy for children with special needs, funded by King Mohammed VI. They watched a grooming session with three Shetland ponies, Caramel, a Palomino, Xena, a Piebald, black and white markings, and Molly, a black pony, with some of the children who have benefited from the equine-assisted therapy, eat or equitherapy, program. Has anyone got any carrots? joked Harry, noticing that Molly was shaking. She's a bit nervous, this one, he said. Megan joked, well, we all get a little camera shy. I understand. When they arrived at the Royal Equestrian Club Dar es Salaam, the country's main equestrian venue, they were introduced to Louis Browski, from Holland, the founder of the Center Social Cariat, an organization working with mentally and physically disabled young people. Mr. Browski, who has trained horses for more than 30 years, is one of the country's leading figures in equine therapy. It was a challenge, he told them. I started with one child. But now 16 years later we have 100 children. My aim is for all disabled children to be fully integrated into Moroccan society. That is just so important, and this is just a gorgeous space you have here, said Megan, before being introduced to some of the young people Mr. Browski brings to ride at the club. Harry and Megan met Ikram, 20, who has Down syndrome, and began riding at the club a month ago. Speaking through a translator. She told them I love the connection with the horses, it already makes me feel relaxed and more confident. And I like being outside, with nature. Megan told her, Wow, you're very impressive. What an accomplished lady. I imagine it's so therapeutic as well as meditative. Next, the couple were introduced to Driss, 24, who told them how his youth had involved violence and drugs but how the equine therapy has helped him regain confidence and made him feel calmer. Driss now has a job with the Center Social Cariat and helps disadvantaged and disabled children develop their skills and learn how to ride. Harry, who grew up riding and still plays polo, told him, It's amazing what you can do here. For someone like you, who must have lost so much trust in all sorts of people around you growing up, you've been able to put your trust in horses. The trust between us and horses, it's a very special thing. I'm missing my old horses. Meghan, 37, was photographed riding when she was younger but Kensington Palace declined to say whether she still enjoyed it, even though there were reports she was having riding lessons before her marriage to Harry. The couple watched a riding demonstration in the outdoor area, with three autistic children riding ponies, while one of the equine therapists explained how they start the children with grooming ponies before gradually building them up to ride. It's a wonderful, holistic approach said Megan. The couple then met with Omar Skoy, Sorex president, Dr. Hussan al Keen, the president of Spana and Bard Fakr, the general secretary of the federation, before being introduced to some of the club's grooms and instructors. How did you all get involved? asked Harry. Speaking through a translator, one of the grooms told him, some of us have horses at home, but we all love working with the children. It's like a family. Asking them where they all from each day to work, Megan said, I imagine no matter where you all come from, it's so worth it. It's amazing what you all do here. Really impressive. Harry told them, you've got the space, the horses, and the king's support. Keep up the amazing work. It would be wonderful to see more of this across Morocco. The couple also met with young people from disadvantaged backgrounds who have benefited from the programs at the center together with mental health charity and individuals involved. Megan reverted back to her French again, wishing them bon journey. The equine therapy program relies on several organizations, including SAREC, the Royal Company for the Encouragement of Horses, SILA, a mental health charity supporting vulnerable communities and SPANA, the Society for the Protection of Animals and Nature. Horse riding for children with special needs has been shown to improve children's communication skills, boost their confidence and help them build relationships. 
The Princess Royal is president of the Writing for the Disabled Association in the UK.